I could never imagine Simon Sinek in one of your books telling people that they were losers, that they were losers and that they suck. Oh, yeah, I never do that. But when I look at Andrew Tate's approach in his videos, multiple videos and tweets, he really mocks the people that he's speaking to. He says, your life sucks. You're an absolute loser. And then he tries to offer them a roadmap. Yeah. And it seems to work. Yeah, of course it works. Why? Because you're validating their feelings of victimhood. You're affirming it and then offering them a way out. Um, because if you simply say, everyone can be a winner, like, and I don't feel like a winner, you're not talking to me. But if I say, you've been forgotten, like, look, we, we, we do it in work all the time. It's like the corporation doesn't care about you. The corporation prioritizes its profits over you. You're like, yeah, like you're disposable, yeah. It's kind of a rhetorical clickbait, right? Because what you're doing is you're validating someone's feelings, you make them feel not alone in their loneliness and victimhood. And then you offer them, but you're not just berating them, you're offering them a validation and then a, and a, and a way out of that feeling. Um, and it's not wrong, it's, it's too much. Like it's totally fine for you and I to say, look, if, if you feel like your career isn't going anywhere and yet you have ideas that you think of how you can do it better, maybe maybe an entrepreneur life is for you. Like we're, we're saying similar things. Mm -hmm. The difference is, is we're not berating people, right? But we, we definitely want people to feel seen, right? Um, I just think, you know, when you play in the extremes, you're playing in the extremes. And so you're gonna get extreme behaviors, extreme reactions, you know? You, you could do the same thing to the same people without uh, riling them up. Because emotions are a powerful thing, right? And so you're playing with the delta. I'm going to push you down even harder, you know, and then I'm going to show you that I can lift you even higher. And I must, you know, that must make me the savior because the delta is so much bigger, you mm. know? I've got this kid in my head that is currently behind a video game screen. He's spending all his time on the internet watching um, certain male influences that are telling him to be individualistic. He doesn't have a romantic relationship in the world, doesn't have any friends. He's not really leaving the house much, not going to the gym at all often referred to these individuals as like being incels yeah, yeah, yeah. on the internet. Yeah. And the rise in that type of individual, according to a lot of people I've spoken to, is, is rising because of the nature of the world and disconnection and lack of friendship and all these things. Yeah. You know, what do you say to that person who's well, probably a guy looking at the statistics? Well, well you, and you've talked to, you've talked to um, Scott Galloway. Yeah. You know, he's, he talks a lot about this, you know. Um, and I don't think we talk enough about this as it relates to extremism and terrorism and things like that, you know, where you take a 24, 25, 26, 27 year old uh, incel virgin with no social life. There's a lot of pent up frustration there. And that comes out in all kinds of screwed up ways, usually anger, usually victimization. Addictions. Addictions, you know, vengeful behavior, you know, antisocial behavior. Um, um, and if you look at, you know, even just in the, and this, this is not a current statistic, this is decades and decades and decades, but you look at sort of the rise of uh, ex religious extremism in the Middle East, you know, you take a shame-based society where you're 24, 25, 26 years old, you're living at home, you're a virgin. Um, the only way you can leave the house is if you like get a job and if you get it, you won't get a girlfriend and i.e. a wife, i.e. have sex until you get a job and move out of the house. And so this, there's the, and, 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 and you're in a, in a shame-based society, like the, the pressures are extreme and the anger is extreme. Um, so I think, yeah, I think this idea of not knowing how to make friends and finding online community of people who are, you know, where we all support each other's victimhood is, is incendiary. Do you think that individualism is hurting us? On yes. an individual level? Like I mean, is that, is, of course. You wanna know why we're lonely? Because we've we've architected our lives to be lonely. Of course, it's hurting us. We are social animals who've over-indexed on rugged individualism. We heroize CEOs. Like I love you, you're great, you're wonderful, but people consider you a hero and their business guru. Blah blah blah. I know for a fact that you didn't do it alone. I know for a fact that you've got teams of people who make you look good. What are you talking about? <laughs> I, know, I know for a fact that people took bets on you, took risks on you. I know for a fact that people made introductions for you. I knew when you had nothing, sure you had moxie, sure you had talent, but if it weren't for people who tried, supported, helped, 
you know, opened a door, there would be no Stephen Bartlett. Of course. Even my parents, the first people I think about is my parents. I don't know why they cared so much about me. I was just, I feel like, you know, kids that feel, they objectively look like such a burden. <laughs> it's like, I, you know, know, I, I feel the same way. Do you know what I mean? I was like, why, why would you do that? Yeah, I, why would my mum and dad care so much about this little bundle of cells? I don't understand. They would just like kill themselves, to, yeah. you know. But it matters. But we know parenting matters. We know parents that build up their kids' confidences uh, really, really, you know, parents that are capable of building their kids' confidence really, really matters, mm -hmm. you know, as opposed to telling a kid constantly that they do everything wrong. Like, that'll hurt the kid for the rest of their life, and they're going to have to do a tremendous amount of work to overcome that, you know? It's interesting, even on this, overlaid with this, is the idea that populations in the Western world are actually declining because we're having less and less kids. Mm -hmm. We're actually making it more about ourselves. We want to work longer. We want to achieve our career goals. And now having kids mm -hmm. and that sort of active service of parenting has now become deprioritized. Mm -hmm. And it's a real problem for the Western world because mm -hmm. of the, you know, aging population. And very often for selfish reasons, like I want to live my life. 100%. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think to your point, I think we have, we have forgotten that we're social animals. If you love the Diary of a CEO brand and you watch this channel, please do me a huge favor, become part of the 15% of the viewers on this channel that have hit the subscribe button. It helps us tremendously and the bigger the channel gets, the bigger the guests.